Now, we're here today to remind BP that their responsibility for cleaning up this mess, both environmentally and economically, trumps their responsibility to their shareholders. Throughout this crisis, BP has appeared more concerned with keeping their stock price high than with meeting its obligations to those victimized by the Gulf spill. We first saw this two weeks ago when the initial report surfaced that BP planned to go ahead with a $2.6 billion quarterly dividend payment to shareholders. It is unfathomable and unconscionable that BP would even consider rewarding their shareholders before we even have so much as a good grasp on the amount of the costs from the spill. And BP should make sure it can foot the bill before setting aside billions for dividend payouts. So today we're sending a letter to BP CEO Tony Hayward calling on him to forgo this proposed escrow account for the shareholder dividend and instead set aside enough money in a real independently controlled escrow account to pay for the environmental cleanup, to restore local economies in the Gulf, to pay restitution to families of those lost in the Deepwater Horizon explosion and cover all other costs. We in Alaska learned many lessons from the Exxon Valdez spill. One of the most important lessons was the setup from the get-go to guarantee that those affected by the spill are justly compensated. That's vital today with the tragic BP spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Legislation that I've been working on for the last two, several weeks would do just that. It would require BP to deposit into an escrow account held by the U.S. government enough money to compensate those affected. BP must and needs to provide Americans the confidence that it is doing everything it can to make those affected by this spill whole. The company can do this by setting aside the money in this escrow account. I've been discussing the draft legislation with my colleagues, building the final piece of legislation to be introduced hopefully by tomorrow. My bottom line is this. The Americans damaged by this oil spill must be fairly compensated in a timely way not waiting 20 years as Alaskans did. This escrow account puts the injured first. I mean, that's essentially what this is all about. Is who's the priority here? Is the priority profit? Is it the uh, company's uh, agenda to first look at its profitability bottom line, or will the people who have suffered through no fault of their own come first? We are united in our resolve to make sure that the victims come first and we won't rest till that happens. That's our message to BP, to its CEO and to its shareholders.